Hi, welcome to another Summit Racing Equipment Quick Flicks. My name is Norm. Today we're going to discuss Vortex Cylinder Heads. Okay, so Vortex Cylinder Heads. Uh, if you want a nice kick in the pants for your small block Chevrolet, something to consider right here, okay? If you're running a conventional cast iron head, this puppy right here will add a nice power boost to your small block. Uh, some of the differences you might ask, let's cover them. Uh, the conventional head, first of all. Cast iron, very, uh, very closed tight pocket on the combustion chamber, uh, almost a closed chamber if you will. The valves are not unshrouded and there's no relief on the back side, okay, D-shape. The Vortec, you get a heart shape or kidney bean shape type chamber, purposely built the chamber, I mean good research into the chamber from General Motors. Uh, they bring the quench area tighter and closer to the plug, uh, a good quenching head, a very powerful head right out of the box. Also on the back side of the valve, uh, up in the end of the runner where it comes in toward the back side of the valve, General Motors did do some unshrouding and relieving back there to, to enhance the flow around the valve as the valve opens and closes. So you get good flow, good velocity. There is a velocity step, or so they tell me anyways, in the intake runner, right as the, uh, right as the flow, the air fuel mixture comes past the curve, uh, there is a step to enhance velocity, give it that boost as it rushes toward the back side of the valve, toward the stem. Yeah. All right, now that we got you thinking about the Vortex cylinder head, uh, a couple of things you need to know about Vortex. Uh, first thing is an intake manifold. You have to have a vortex specific intake, okay? Your, your old faithful conventional style intake manifold will not bolt on. It will fit on, but you won't get it bolted down, okay? Uh, vortex has uh, changed the angle, uh, reduced the number, and uh, slightly changed the location of the intake manifold bolt holes. Uh, vortex comes in at a 72 degree angle off the center line of the head. Uh, where the conventionals run at 90 degrees to the center line of the cylinder head. Uh, the two bolt holes in the middle are notab notably absent. Also, the location uh, changes on the, uh, the flange itself. So the Vortec bolt holes are raised toward the valve cover rail, uh, like so, and uh, where your conventional head is more toward the center line, farther down from the valve cover rail. Uh, let's see here. So Vortec intake manifold, uh, Vortec intake gaskets uh, also, and then a Vortec intake manifold bolt set will be required. The cylinder heads themselves uh, do their geometry guiding and uh, rocker geometry type guiding through the uh, narrow body self-aligning rocker. So if you've got fat roller rockers on your conventional Chevrolet, they will not work on the Vortec cylinder head. You'll have to get a set of narrow body self-aligning rockers. Uh, the rocker does the guiding, keeps the geometry in shape and all the alignment and stuff like that. So, okay, so a couple last things in closing. Technically speaking, uh, a 194 and a 15 exhaust. Uh, intake and exhaust can both be upgraded to a 202 and a 160. Uh, let's see, you're on the flip side. You are on press-in studs. Um, do consider pinning them if you start getting out there in some serious lift ranges or if you go to a different spring and add more seat pressure. Uh, also a screw in stud is a good thing to consider. Uh, in the valve guide to retainer, uh, you want to watch. These heads out of the box are good to about 460, 475 lift. Uh, General Motors I think calls for like 475 max. Uh, due to stack tolerances that happen through machining and pouring and all of that, the, 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 the finished product, you may find that you run out of clearance around 440. Uh, some heads might be good to 440, some others at 460, 475. When you start getting in that range, be sure you check and verify your guide to retainer clearance. Uh, also, on the top side, you're going to need a center bolt valve cover. If you don't have any in the shop or laying it on the shelf in the garage, you will need a center bolt valve cover. Uh, from there, a uh, thing to consider, uh, maybe in closing, Chevrolet started producing Vortec, uh, the name in 1986. It appeared on a V6. 
True Vortec castings, as far as the cylinder heads go, did not appear until 1996. The Vortec casting has this sawtooth pattern on the end of the cylinder head, okay? So uh, with that, hopefully you'll enjoy your Vortec cylinder heads, get some extra power out of your small Chevy. Uh, okay, so if you enjoyed the Vortec thing, uh, be sure to let us know. Uh, please post your comments, your questions, uh, your feedback uh, down below and we'll try to address that in a future episode.